I combine a form of coaching with tapping, EFT tapping, emotional freedom technique. And what that is all about, because I want to keep this to about 20 minutes so that you can all have time for other endeavors in your break. I am going to very briefly explain that it is acupuncture based. So you stimulate certain acupuncture points as you are tapping them. And the stimulation of these acupuncture points is proven, and it looks like I'm doing now, it's proven to send very powerful signals to the brain. And what those signals do, what those signals achieve is many things. There are well uh, over 200 studies on it right now, but I can't obviously go through many of them. I will keep this very brief the science base just in a few minutes and then we can get tapping so you can all experience what I mean, okay? So of the many things that are proven, a couple of important ones are huge, and I mean huge drops in cortisol. This is not some vague um, assumption of mine that it is huge. It can, cortisol is your main stress hormone and it's proven to drop on average 43% in just one tapping session. Now, if you have nearly half the stress hormones going around your system, one can understand that in actual fact, you will feel calmer. You will think more clearly. Executive function will be reestablished because you will no longer be in fight or flight where your brain is acting, acting as if it is in fact running in front of a tiger. Imagine how useful that can be when you have many, many contrasting priorities, when you have a long to-do list, when you have a difficult conversation to have with a team member or with your boss or with a client meeting, perhaps you're nervous about speaking in public, that kind of thing. When your amygdala, the stress center in your brain, hijacks your brain, you are functioning as if you are running in front of a tiger and that is far from optimal. You will not have clarity. You might forget what you were going to say. You might leave the room and think, I can't believe I forgot to say X, Y, and Z, which I really wanted to say, okay? So one huge scientifically proven advantage benefit of tapping is that it hugely drops your cortisol. And that's very good news. A little bit of cortisol, Fabulous. It gets you going. Raised stress levels, raised cortisol on a continuous basis. That's where we get into trouble. And you can really, well, it can wreak havoc with your health, basically. But in, in a very immediate way, it will hijack your clarity and your executive function. And you will be less efficient. You will not be happy with your decisions. Your decision-making will will be compromised, could be impaired. And, and so that's one of the very clear th advantages. And the other one, which is also very clearly proven by gold standard brain scan research, you know, the gold standard is called functional MRI scans. So the functional MRI scans prove very clearly so that we can understand exactly what's happening in somebody's brain before, during, and after tapping. And I'm, I'm not going to start showing you images because I want to crack on with experiencing this for you all. But essentially what's proven is that this amygdala in your brain, this stress center that kicks off the stress response, the, the fight or flight response, loses blood flow. It's called reduced amygdala activation. And if the blood flow is no longer going, no longer going to the stress bit of your center, then what can it wonderfully do? It can go to any other brain function that will require it. And that probably totally does in your busy technical jobs and in your full lives. As, uh, as modern professionals, right? I am one of you. I am with you on this. So that's a little bit about the science. The reduced amygdala activation is literally moving the blood flow 
removing it from the stressy part of your brain, from the amygdala, from the stress center, which then allows that blood flow to be used by many other parts of your brain, such as your frontal lobe for clear thinking and how valuable is that in this world? All of that, what does that look like in practical terms? People will come to me and say, oh, I have something really hard coming up. Um, I get a lot of referrals from a psychiatric clinic, the, the foremost psychiatric clinic in the UK. It's called the Priory. And, they, and they, they refer people to me. And some of these people, they're not just busy. They're, sometimes they're celebrities. They have all sorts of pressures going on on them. And, and their, their brains get in fight or flight and sometimes just can't come off it. It's so common. And they maybe say that they'll say, oh, you know, I have this really difficult performance coming up, say, which can happen in any in any walk of life, in any job you do. I have this thing I have to do and it's really making me nervous. Right. Well, if you know you won't function well and even for exams, even if you have children, if you have teenagers or if you're studying yourself, even in exams, if you know nerves can do things to you, which they can that's when you go blank, isn't it? We call it, oh no, I went blank and I didn't do a very good exam. Oh, how terrible. Okay, let's think about this. Tell me from zero to 10, how stressful does this feel? Right now, this conversation you need to have, or this performance you need to have. From zero to 10, how stressful does it feel right now? Then we tap, we stimulate all these acupuncture points like I'm doing and I'll guide you through it thoroughly in a moment. Two minutes later, three minutes later, we do a couple of rounds and we check what's the intensity now. And then we take a deep breath, have a bit of water because hydration helps every process, including the tapping, doing a great job. Then we check the intensity again from zero to 10. How bad is it? So I am going to invite you in the interest of time. I am going to invite you to... Think about something you're not very happy about. Not the biggest thing in your life, please. This session is not, it's not designed to make you deal with anything severe. Anything that from zero to 10 is above seven is best not dealt with in a group setting. Because, of course, I am trained to a completely first class world at, at world level level of trauma clearing with tapping and all sorts of advanced treatments obviously to keep you safe as well but that i can only do that one-on-one -on -one. in a group setting it's a bit harder to know exactly what's happening with anyone and if somebody were to get you know have an reaction get get very triggered very emotional then how do we get them out of it in a in a group setting so if i may ask you please to choose something that from zero to ten is bothering you but not more than a seven perhaps something you're a bit worried about a bit stressed about a particular project a particular chat a particular person you might even be thinking about it and you think oh really goodness i can't co i just can't work with this person i really can't or whatever but nothing way intense and certainly nothing that has been diagnosed and has the word severe in it physical or emotional. By the way, tapping can also help with a multitude of physical issues. And the, I suppose that part could be summarized in absolutely anything that is made worse by stress can be made better by tapping. I'll summarize it in that. But let's choose something that we're a bit nervous about, a bit worried about, and give it a number from zero to 10. In your mind, I'm never going to put anyone on, on the spot. If anybody would like to share later, you know, I've dropped from an A, sorry, from a seven to a three or from a five to a zero, whatever. I'll be quite happy to acknowledge that and, and I will be grateful, absolutely. But you're not required to share anything. Just think about this thing. And as you think about this thing, and we'll call it this problem, you tap on the side of your hand and you start thinking, even though I have this problem, that's okay. I'm a good person. I accept myself anyway. It's modern psychology mixed with acupressure. Even though I've got this problem, you do this three times. That's okay. I'm a good person and I accept myself anyway. Even though I've got this problem, that's okay. I'm a good person 
and I fully and completely love and accept myself. You do that three times in as much detail as you can. Because the more detail you, you do, the more detail you go to in your head or out loud, the more your brain will light up the bits that are dealing with it, the bits that are relevant. Okay? So once you've done this setup statement, you find a summary sentence in your head or out loud, which might be this problem. And you tap the rest of the points, this problem. This problem. This problem. And you focus on this feeling, this feeling. Make it specific, of course. This disappointment. This worry. These nerves. This fear under the arm. Under the other arm. This problem. You can use one hand or on the other side. You can use both. I normally illustrate it with both. Top of the head. This problem. All you're doing is focusing on the problem. Focusing on this feeling that is unwanted and unwelcome. And at the same time, stimulating this very, very well-proven, powerful acupuncture points. Feel the feeling. And do the tapping, which is another good little summary. If in doubt, if you, you catch yourself wondering, what did Yolanda say? What do I do? What do I think? What do I... If in doubt, feel the feeling and do the tapping. Feel the feeling and do the tapping. Yolanda, a... I have oh, a sorry. question. Sorry. Sorry. Yes. Uh, go on. What's your question? So does it matter the pattern that we do? Like, I, do we need to follow a sequence? Like first in the head, then on 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 mm -hmm. my head. This on sequence. The okay. Yes, great question. Thank you so much. This sequence has been designed to be followed from top to bottom, just because it makes it easy for people. But it doesn't matter what sequence you follow. Every acupuncture channel contains a lot of points. Technically, we're only tapping on the endpoints of the channel. So when you tap on all these points, you're tapping on every acupuncture channel and you're covering your whole body, basically. So it doesn't really matter what, what order you tap in, as long as you ideally don't miss too many. But even when you miss some points, bear in mind you're covering your entire body, there, it, there are likely to be some points that you didn't even need to tap on to feel better. So as long as you follow this sequence, you will not forget any, but even if you do forget some, you'll still be helped. This is um, my experience. I've been doing this for 10 years now. It's my 10th birthday. So oh, as a thank tapper, you. I, I, <laughs> I was a banker before for anyone wondering, keep feeling the feeling and keep doing the tapping. I'm a so, master's of science by the University of London. And, and I used to be a banker, but I switched into helping people like us who just have too much on. Go on. Were you going to say something? Sorry. Yeah, sorry. I was wondering if each um, point is related with a specific feeling. For example, is it here fear or mm -hmm. is it here um, just yes. sadness yes. or something? Thank you. How... Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, just in, in the interest of time, absolutely. Some points are correlated with some things, with some feelings, and some aren't. We're not in theory. That is the idea, to not make it complex by saying to people, oh, if you feel this, you must tap here. If you feel that, you must tap there. So while th there is such a thing, and it's an excellent question, thank you so much again. While there is such a correlation, the truth is this simplified sequence that covers everything has been done precisely to cover all bases so that whatever you feel, you tap this way and you know you'll feel, feel calm. You know the blood flow will leave your amygdala. You know your cortisol will be lowered and you don't have to worry about what's what. At the basic level, of course, simplifying allows this to be taught very far and wide. At a very advanced level, which I work at, 
Uh, there are around 200 people trained at my level globally. And at that very advanced level, I can personalize sequences and then focus on only what points you need at this point. And then you might get a sequence that's three points. It's really amazing. But at the simplified level and for a group setting, it is simply more appropriate to, to keep with the whole sequence. Although I will give you some advanced tips. Let's stop tapping for a moment. Let's just take a breath. I do have some advanced points to teach you up my sleeve, which I will do in a minute. So you've done your breath, you have a bit of water. You just allow yourself to think about the same thing again, not something related, not something similar, but the actual thing so that it's not apples and oranges. Just keep it honest with yourself from zero to 10. How much is it bothering you right now? And I would be very surprised if there hasn't been a drop already, certainly for a good bunch of people. Why don't I give you a moment to let me know? Perhaps some of you are already calculating it. Your own numbers, people here. What do you think? Anyone happy to report in the chat whether they, they've gone down a bit already? Otherwise, I'll continue. And, uh, and that's fine too. How do you use this in practical terms? Remember, feel the feeling and do the tapping. But also, but also, say you've gone down from a six to a three, which would be quite common. Actually, I've seen even bigger drops than that uh, in my daily practice. And I've treated well over a thousand people. And I tap in schools where I tap with hundreds of children at the same time. And, uh, and, and so it, it's quite common to sometimes get really quite a big drop. Say you've gone from a six to a three. See, somebody has gone down from a seven to a three. Let's use that example if that's okay. The person that's gone down from a seven to a three, the way to continue this is, of course, simplifying. Keep feeling the feeling and keep doing the tapping. But if you want to go a bit more advanced and a bit more powerful, this is how you do it. You ask, you just ask yourself, okay, what's making it a three? Why is it not a zero? Oh, this bit of it is still bothering me. So as an example, if somebody... I treat lots of people with phobias. So if you're worried about flying and the thing about the pilot being a suicide pilot is no longer worrying you, and the, I don't know, the potential turbulence is no longer worrying you, then we might work on a one-on-one -on -one basis. We would work on those aspects one by one. Then ask yourself, well, what is still bothering me? Why is it not a zero? And then you might think, oh, hang on, no, no. There's that bit of take off that I still hate. I don't know. So then you would tap on that feeling about the takeoff. This feeling about the takeoff. Just ask yourself, what is it making it a three? What is making it a three? Why can't I say, oh, it's a zero, Yolanda? Right? And that's the bit to focus on and tap on. So in very, very practical terms, keep tapping, keep feeling the feeling, keep doing, just think maybe this remaining feeling, this remaining problem, this remaining feeling, this remaining worry, okay? In very, very practical terms, you could do things like use this shortcut, four of your five fingertips, have an acupuncture channel ending there. And of course, it's easier to do them all than to say, oh, tap on this one, don't tap on that one, tap on, you know. So it's it's easier to just go like that. You could go like that for a shortcut. You could do this under the table. Nobody would see you. I'm tapping right now. Nobody would know in a meeting. You could press on these points. You don't have to, you don't have to be tapping if you don't want to be seen to be tapping. You could just press. Nobody would ever know what points you're tapping. You could press on the face points as well. All these points are really well known, but I don't want to give you technicalities. Say you're in a meeting, you could easily be doing that. This is a compression, really. So you could easily be doing that. 
and you're pressing on that point instead of going like that if somebody's getting a bit on your nerves. Or you could be like that. Or you could be like that. And you're doing tapping. You're doing acupressure. You're going to calm yourself. This one is very easy too. Could be like that. Nobody would ever know. Right? So there's quite a lot. You can remember these little advanced tips, these shortcuts. Okay? And, and, and use them to your advantage. Tell your children. They can do this in an exam while they're thinking. And nobody will know. They can tap under the table they, or they can press on the points to calm, calm themselves. They can tap these magic points, as we call them, when the children are young. It, be, perhaps before sleeping, if they're not good sleepers, or if they're teenagers and they have more important exams, they can tap before they, revi they revise and then tap just before the exam. Any other drops? Deep breath, water, any other drops? We have three more minutes because I'd like to keep it brief. Unless people would like to continue instead of going to eat their lunch. But I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy to continue for, for uh, until till o'clock. Yolanda. Yeah, just, uh, I, I want drops. to remind you, I just want to remind yeah. you that we have two sessions, right? So you yes. can keep yes. it. Yeah. So we will yeah. finish the first session and we will yeah. start a new one. And then at o'clock, I'll start a new session and I am quite happy to go from one to the next. I, I don't have a problem with that. I'm very used to doing a lot of public speaking. That is not a problem for me. But people get the choice to stop at 10 to if they'd like to go. And or stay a bit longer if they if they like that. We can do a bit longer if anybody wants it or has questions. So would just like to continue practicing. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Any other drops? Any other drops? Oh, I can see some messages there. Yeah. Well, do we have yeah. any questions from the audience? Would you like to ask yeah. something to, uh, to Jolanda? Please feel free to drop your question on the chat or unmute yourself. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Because otherwise, I will keep going. I will keep going. We've only got a couple of minutes left. So I will summarize what we have covered today. And I will add that tapping was created in an American hospital where a PhD in clinical psychology combined acupressure with modern psychology. That's how it came about. It, it, it's, it's mostly American, although it's now gone global, and in places like Japan, it's part of every psychology degree. In, in the UK, it's already in the public health service. And in, the, in Australia, they use it a lot in pain clinics. There's a whole book about tapping for pain. So... The way I have chosen to use it is because I was an FX trader and I was trading money in the millions. It was terribly stressful. I decided to use this, plus the coaching that I combined with it that I don't have time to cover here. I chose to help people like me, professional women who are, you know, stressed out, sometimes a bit overwhelmed or, or anxious. Panic attacks um, they respond very well to tapping and um, things like depression, um, all sorts, all sorts of, all sorts of issues, mainly psychological. But uh, often I end up helping people if they have physical ailments as well, because like I say, anything that is made worse by stress will be made better by tapping. That takes us to the time. So if there are no questions, people, be, please feel free to go. But I am happy to stay around. Um, I normally do this. I'll stay around for a couple more minutes in case anybody would, in fact, like to chat in a smaller group. I know that can be a thing for some people or even or even in private. Okay. I will make sure the organizers will share with you two things. One is a little PDF with all the tapping points. And two, a, li a link to my calendar for a completely free one-on-one -on -one conversation, which I know some people 
much prefer, understandably, a completely free 30 minute consultation, 30 minute chat with me. It doesn't have to be about anything specific. It can, or it can be. Maybe you have questions that you'd rather not go into here and you just want to ask me. Anytime you like, the organizers will drop my, will email you all we, at the end of the, of the event with my link to my Calendly and a little PDF so that you can have the tapping points always to hand in case you ever wonder. Okay. Thank you so much for coming today. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Jolanda. That was really great. And if you, if someone wants to find you in social media, where, where can we find you or uh, your website? Yes. I my, my The name of my business is Tap It Better. Mm -hmm. Although my name is Yolanda Sayes Castello. I'll drop you a couple of links so you can share with people as well. I'm on Instagram. I mean, I prefer LinkedIn, to be honest. I'm more active in LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm in Facebook. And um, I have a website as well. So you can, you can find it on tapitbetter.com. And, uh, and, and you, can, you can find me in Facebook under my name actually but i'll drop you a couple of links i'll drop you all uh, some contact info if anybody wants to find me it'll be click the link and it's done Amazing. anything else from anyone else thank Only you one person has left. okay it's it's a pleasure it's a pleasure like i say i'll stay behind a couple of minutes in case anybody would like to um ask something when the group is smaller and then other than that in a couple of minutes I right. will bye bye and come back at o'clock or just before to do the next yes. session. Okay. In the, mean, in the meantime, please uh, share you your thoughts about this amazing presentation uh, with our survey. I will be sharing the um, uh, link again. So feel free to let us know uh, your thoughts. Thank you.